Well, good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. Real quick before this guy gets away, we had a friend last night. It's a locust. He landed on my wheel. Yeah, he came out of that shell. We found him this morning. But it's day number 84 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. R-E-C-T, Get Wrecked for Recovery. A 48-state, four-year ride for addiction recovery awareness. Each day we pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction, and the whole end goal is to build a rehab. And this is state number 39, Nebraska, on the Ride to Ragbri 2022. A 4,500-mile loop around the Midwest. Ohio to Erie Trail, Michigan's Upper Peninsula, Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park, the Cowboy Trail, which we just finished, and Easter Ragbri the last week of July. Four more days. And it's all to raise awareness that addiction recovery <laughs> options are available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world that just want to help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So yeah, we're here at Tahazuka City Park. Tahazuka's um, right there? Yeah. The guy um, that does all the checking and stuff came and fixed the electrical box this morning and it turns out that it was $18 to camp with electrical and 12 without. So. God's good, divine intervention. We paid exactly what we were supposed to pay to be here anyway, even though we didn't even know it. But yeah, we had some locust friends last night. He, Apparently. One on his tire, one on the um, tent, and one on my wheel that was still alive. Yeah, they were, they were all over the place, so I guess it's that time. Uh, this morning, we are going to get on the road. We're going to try to get out early here. We are up super early to beat the wind today. Uh, Forest is going to go southeast, and we're headed northeast uh, up to Wayne and then Wakefield. So when it turns, um, you're going to have a good tailwind. Yep, so you'll have a tailwind after the wind turns. Yep. Uh, but first, we're going to go to Burger King and uh, get some food to eat, some breakfast. Forrest <laughs> has never had breakfast at Burger King before, so yeah. Uh, once we leave there, we'll part ways, and Liam and I will make our 44 miles. It looks like it's going to get much hillier today. Um, but I think we can handle it and then yeah once we get done with that uh, we will be one more day of riding until our break before rag ride. Oh he's on my neck it feels it's so like scratchy it's tickly too it's like you know when uh, when you when you get a haircut that's what that feels like the clippers uh, but yeah so we're gonna get on the road and you'll see more of that right about now All right, so we just finished up here at Burger King. What did you think about Burger King breakfast? That was better than I expected. I enjoyed it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so we also looked at the map and we figured out that... You can't we... ride a bike on uh, interstate. Uh, uh, you can't ride a bike on the interstate. Yeah, you can't ride a bike on the interstate So in Nebraska or Iowa. So we're actually going to have to go like north up through... Uh, South Sioux City and cross over into Sioux City and then wrap around and come back down towards Sergeant Bluff. I want to catch a ride. Uh, that adds quite a few miles to what we were planning on doing. We were going to do 44 today and 44 tomorrow. So it's going to make tomorrow big. Um, we'll either do that or get a ride over from someone like over the interstate just right there in the town. I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen there. Uh, but either way, uh, Forrest, it's been awesome to ride with you. Yeah. We'll see you at Ragbri. I hope to plan. I uh, plan. I hope to ride a couple of days with you, at least, if not all of them. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you got anything to say to Forrest before we part ways? Been a great friend. You've been a great friend. It's been a pleasure and an honor. The honor and pleasure has been all ours, my friend. All ours.
yeah so uh we're gonna go separate ways and you guys will see more of that yeah <laughs> It is crazy big. I know the scale doesn't compute for you guys. But way up there on the very tip of it, there's like a little black thing on this part here. And that little black dot is actually a window for people to stand in and look out. Like that's how small it is and how big the uh, the windmill is. And anyway. If, if you can hear it. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it. It sounds like a jet. But that's actually that windmill. There's no jets around, so. Anyway, we're going to keep going. Love you guys. See you later. So we just rolled into Windside, and they have a beautiful little park here. Outlets to charge stuff with, got all that done. They've got playground equipment. They had a little store, and not much, but it was it was enough uh, for us to get food to eat and all that kind of good stuff, some water. Um, yeah, and we sat here and took naps. We met a couple of folks from the neighborhood. And now we're going to keep on pushing onwards. Uh, the wind is still blowing hard, and I don't know what the load limit is on these things. But they are spinning so fast. There has to be like an upper load limit where they turn them off, and we must be like right at that threshold today. Because as big as those are, they're moving. They're moving fast. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're all done with all our like lunchtime festivities. And... Uh, now we're going to pedal on into Wayne where they've got a community pool we're going to swim in if it's open or willing. Uh, when we get there roughly, it's 2.30 now. I'm hoping we'll get there by 4. It's uh, 13 miles, so that'd be a 9 mile an hour average. Uh, and then after Wayne, after we're done swimming, we're going on into Wakefield. Uh, and I did look at the map. It's only 41 miles tomorrow from Wakefield, even taking the long way around up through Sioux City. Uh, to go over the one bridge we're allowed to cycle over. 
Uh, it is only 41 miles, so we are okay. I thought that we weren't, but we are totally fine. Uh, for our last ride tomorrow before the few days off, um, before Rack Bry 2022, so crazy. It's like anticip anticipation of 84 days of riding a bicycle to get to something and seeing it so close on the horizon. It's overwhelming. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna try to get this kid out of the sand pit. You'll see more of that right about now. Liam! Get out of the sand pit! Ah uh, yes, a flashback to the 1980s and my childhood. I did get him out of the sand pit though. Alright, so uh, Liam just had a flat tire. Awesome guy named Soderberg from Wakefield pulled over and talked to us for a little bit. Took about 30 minutes, got it done. He had three different thorns in his tire, so we are not going off the roads at all anymore for any reason. Um, hopefully the front one's still good. And then I need to fill it up the rest of the way with some air whenever we get to like a, um, a, a, a gas station, because all I could get in there was about 40 pounds with that pump. So, yeah, we're going to keep on pedaling the Wayne now. Hopefully we get there before the pool's out uh, closed. And then Wakefield this evening. And uh, Soderbergh said he was going to try and ride through on his bike and see if he could find us tonight. So, cool stuff. So we just rolled into the DQ Grill and Chill. We actually went to the pool first here in Wayne, Nebraska. Uh, and they closed at 450. And because of the flat tire that we had, um, the just kind of winds in our face part of the day, all the different things that took place today, we were not able to go. They actually reopened uh, at 6, but we've still got 10 miles to go and it's getting darker quicker. It's 7.20 now, uh, so we're going to keep on moving down the road. I did get a chance to get the video cut, edited, and clicked upload, so it's uploading right now, which you'll already have seen it because it'll be uploaded, but uh, either way, yeah, we're going to head up here into Wakefield. Uh, I really wish we could have gone to the pool. We at least went inside and got showers. I washed these clothes off. Um, like, it was really nice, so we did get wet. We just didn't get to dive, jump, swim, or do any of those kind of things. Cool thing is, though, the hotel we're going to, uh, that Tracy Snyder's putting us up in in Sioux City, uh, has an indoor pool. So, at least we have that to look forward to tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, we got our food in our bellies, and we got, we're going to pump out these last 10 miles. You ready to pump out these last 10 miles? I don't know. I really wanted the pool. Yeah, I wanted the pool, too. I had my bathing suit on. 
I've tried to plan a pull every day for you, bud. We just, we missed it today. It bees that way sometimes, man. All right. Uh, either way, 10 miles to go. We're going to do that, and you'll see that. so that does it for the day it's actually the next morning so we rolled in last night uh, and it's Eaton Field um, at the Wakefield um, City Park and Campground and the campground here is just a few pads um, that go up this way but it says you know camper permit required and I walked all around trying to find out where to get a camper permit walked over to the shower showers are closed so finally I walked over to the baseball field which is just gorgeous uh, they've got like box seats and I don't know if you can see but some of these they're trying to get all 30 major league stadiums some bleachers from each one of them um, and put them as like the box seats that you can pay to be in uh, but walked over there and there was a guy watering the flowers there were some kids down there playing baseball Liam and went and played with the kids and they just they all had a great time together they took pictures together we all took a picture together uh, they sent them to us so we could put them in the video. Thank you so much guys for spending some time with Liam last night He loved every minute of it. I think they were playing blitz ball uh, Down there on the ball field uh, But the guy watering the flowers his name was Paul Eaton and He's the mayor and so when I was asking him about where I get a permit he said well I'm the mayor You're welcome to be here. And so he let us just camp here for free uh, And then he said you know he would let the police officer on duty uh, last night know that we were good and we had a very peaceful night beautiful sunset here uh, right over this field in the background it was it was really nice um, but yeah so great day all in all did not like the fact that um, we could not go to the pool but those things happen and uh, you know it's just kind of rolling with the punches at least we did get to get the showers there at the um, the pool because I guess God apparently knew that this little shower building over here would be closed um, so it all worked out it's all working according to his good uh, I think the worst part of the day was the goat head strikes again part of the day it's, a, it's never fun changing a tire especially on the side of a busy highway uh, but we got it done never ended up seeing Soderberg he did not show up last night uh, I'm hoping that maybe he'll show up this morning and say hey to us before he heads out to work in Norfolk and uh, yeah, we're just essentially gonna make preparations. Uh, I know it's, you know, yesterday's video still, but today we're gonna make preparations to move on into state number 40, Iowa, and get ready for Ragbri. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end the video here for the day. If you know anyone who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find us through the Popple link in the description. And we would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. If you know anybody who's actively addicted, anybody in general, please share this with them. Thank you so much, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. Every one of you that is liking every video, commenting on every video, sharing every video, and those of you that are subscribed to the YouTube channel. The analytics love it. We do too. And who knows, it might save a life. 
Don't forget, Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. That link is also in the Papa link. You can go there and find out more about Redeeming Eden and about the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund, which is a fund we started to help families that lose loved ones to addiction with paying funeral costs. So yeah, from here at the uh, Wakefield City Park and Campground, where there's a camper permit required, unless you know the mayor. We love you guys. Jesus loves you. We'll see you later. Have a good night.